go. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Hello, everyone. Company. I'm today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of Today, games. I'm happy to share with you our latest I'm updates you on a twice. number of We'd like to share why. some news about Pokemon's first, first strategic team we'd like battle to share game, some news Pokemon about Unite. Pokemon's first strategic team battle game, Pokemon the Nintendo Unite. Switch version of the game has already been released. The okay, that's Pokemon Switch Unite. Version the version has Are you hearing it twice as well? The release of the mobile version has now been set for September In anticipation of the mobile version launch, pre-registration has begun today on the app store and Google Sorry about that. Checking if I have it Nintendo opened Switch twice by mistake. It doesn't seem like it. That sucks. Why does this happen? We hope you'll all pre-register and look forward to the mobile release. Players who are quick to jump in with the Nintendo Switch version that has already been released quick to jump can also receive the Zera Switch version that has already been released as a launch can also receive Zera the Unite or license Unite can also be used in the mobile version by linking the accounts. The Unite license can also be used in the mobile version by linking accounts. Why don't it work twice? I'd like to I'm going to refresh the page. A preview of some of the Pokemon that are slated to join in I'd future like to updates. Give you all okay, yeah, there's another page somewhere. Okay, stop the video. It's like there's another video somewhere. Oh my god. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> Sorry guys. Look forward to more from Pokemon Unite in the future. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. A preview of some of the Pokemon that are slated to join in future updates. It's very Pokemon weird. Cafe Mix is getting a revamp. And with it, a new title. And with it, a new title. Pokemon Cafe Pokemon Remix. Cafe Remix. The puzzles oh God, I'm so sorry. The puzzles have been refreshed with the addition of new with the addition of new elements. I don't know. With which you can mix last puzzle icons. And last puzzle um. icons. Uh, how about now? There will be tons of Pokemon new to tons Pokemon. of Pokemon new to Pokemon Cafe Remix and new dress up options. This seems final now, right? Of growing and developing your staff Pokemon, so this renewed puzzle game is sure to be something that can be enjoyed for years to come. Yeah, I think I fixed Pokemon it. Pokemon Cafe Remix will open its doors this fall. Okay, we haven't missed anything important at least. Mobile games and stuff, it's not that important, that interesting. Sorry guys. Not sure why that Pokemon happened. Pokemon Masters EX celebrates its two year anniversary. Dynamaxing is here. Cygnusu Leon has arrived and he's partnered up with Eternatus. Team up with brothers Leon and Hob to face Eternatus in the legendary event currently underway. To celebrate the two-year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, players will get the chance to scout up to 100 sync pairs at no cost. Plus, three different legendary events are returning at once, meaning players can team up with three legendary Pokemon. N will be returning in a special outfit as part of a Masters sync pair. N and his Pokemon are able to target all opponents with their attacks. Look forward to seeing N as well as other two-year anniversary sync pairs soon. Then, starting in September, a new story arc unfolds. Villainous organizations are stirring once more as the story takes a darker turn. You won't want to miss it. We have plenty of other events and exciting content planned as well, so come join us in celebration of this special anniversary. Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, Very you can receive a present of Very exciting stuff so far. as our newest campaign begins. You won't want to miss it. Pokemon Go 5th anniversary, that's cool. Pokemon
Pokemon Go, which is celebrating its fifth anniversary, will have Pokemon that were first discovered in the Galar region appearing in the wild. The Ultra Unlock Part 3 Sword and Shield event will begin on August 20th, 2021 at 10 a.m. local time. Players can look forward to seeing Wooloo, Squavit, and Phalanx during the event. The legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta will also be appearing in 5-star raids. It seems that the sudden appearance of Pokemon originally discovered in the Galar region has something to do with the mischievous tricks of a certain mythical Pokemon. Be sure to take part in these events and discover the truth behind these curious appearances. Your adventures in the real world will only continue to grow in Pokemon Go! Next up, we have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Ooh, Pearl games. Finally. When I first saw them, uh, I was kind of uh, underwhelmed. But uh, now I'm into it. Now this just seemed like good, good wholesome fun. I, I do wish they used the opportunity of using simple graphics to add um, a lot of richness to the environments, but I don't think that's happening. That's what's weird. That's very weird. <laughs> Why are they showing it so close? Yeah, I mean, the graphics are nice, the style is nice. But they could have, could have added like a lot of richness to the environment, to the characters, and they failed to do that. These are some very weird uh, close-up shots. What? Why? It's, it's such a bad trailer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, it's like, um, well, it's the first remake done by an outside company. It's not, uh, it's not by, um, what's the name? Forgot the name of the developer. Uh, Game Freak. It's not by Game Freak. Um, so that might have something to do, to do with it. Uh, yeah, but uh, the trailers are so bad. Yeah, it's not Game Freak. That's the it's the first time someone else is uh, is doing one of these remakes. I'm assuming it's like the result of the budget they were uh, given. Yeah, but the trailers suck. <laughs> so many weird close-ups and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll probably enjoy the game, I'm assuming. But... Uh... But yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's pretty weird. Pre-orders open. It's definitely the least impressive remake they've done ever. The release of Pokemon ever. Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl is now just three months away. Um, 
Let's review the main points of these revitalized games. Yeah, every every remake so far was on par with uh, or even years, more advanced than the mainline uh, game that came before it. Into Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. This adventure takes place in the Sinnoh region, a land rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region, catching wild Pokemon and making new friends. Yeah, it's kind of weird uh, your the transition between the overlay, the overworld, Pokemon, and the and the battle graphics. Area and aim to the, uh, the battle graphics are, uh, you know, as good as Pokemon gets uh, so far. Pass down through the generations and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. But the overall just seems off, you know, like low budget. This is Professor Rowan, who entrusts you with a Pokemon. He's a famous professor researching Pokemon evolution. This is your childhood friend and rival. He hones his skills as a Pokemon trainer through your friendly rivalry. Is one of the gym leaders you'll yeah, actually seeing the, the models of the of the trainers uh, in battle, Team Galactic is it really makes me want there to play to a game that looks like that. That's not a good sign usually. Activity. Cynthia is investigating myths about Pokemon. She's a mysterious person who shows up at many points along your journey. Yeah, I, I I became less disappointed with it further I got from the uh, reveal trailer, but uh, seeing it again makes me disappointed again. That's a very bad sign. Such as sticking up fossils or creating your own secret base and decorating it with Pokemon statues. There are also places down there called Pokemon hideaways, which didn't exist in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl. Apparently. The Pokemon that appear in the Pokemon hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed in your secret base. It seems that some of the Pokemon living in the Sinnoh region can only be found in this place. So be sure to fully explore the grand underground spread out beneath the surface of Sinnoh. You can use the stickers you'll collect on your adventure to customize the effects that appear when Pokemon spring out of Pokeballs. Such as confetti or okay. fireworks. Okay, I'm good. By That's good. Stickers at various locations along your journey and decorating with them, you can make your Pokemon battles even more fun. I like One that. That's a cute that was gimmick. Not available in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl is the ability to change your outfit. Wear your favorite styles on your adventure. In super contest shows, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of the music, proudly show off a contest move. Yeah, and I like the idea of a, uh, a rhythm game. Cooperate with your Why not? partner Pokemon to really Why not? work up the crowd. In the Union Room, this release allows you to use not only local communication, but also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world in real time. Please enjoy battles and Pokemon trades with many other trainers. You can walk around with any of the Pokemon that appear in these games. Enjoy your journey through Sinnoh together with your partner. That's also Pokemon. nice, but I want to do it in a game that looks like the battle system. Like this. With all That's kinds awesome. Of people and Pokemon and the mystery behind Sinnoh's myths await you. We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure with new gameplay features in the Sinnoh region. Please wait just a bit longer for the start of your adventure. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite Dialga and Palkia edition will also be released to celebrate the launch of these games. I mean, it looks... This special Nintendo it looks even worse than Pokemon Let's Go. And Pokemon Let's Go looked low budget in a way, but a lot better. Why didn't they just use assets at the level of Pokemon Let's Go? That would have been cool as well.
Next, we have some information for you about the Pokemon Legends Arceus game, which is being developed by oh. Game Freak. There we go. That's the interesting stuff. Hey, right, there's Bo. That's what I'm talking about. That's striking. You can see the technical limitations of the Switch, but it's just a very good looking game. I really like the art style. Very painterly. Fuck yeah! Wait a minute, is that a new Pokemon? Yeah, that's another level, that's really awesome. Was that like a new version of Growlite or something? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, fuck yeah. It is so good. Yes! Yes, Pokemon who are actually terrifying. That's awesome! I wonder what the styles mean. That's a grow light, right? It's like a special version of a grow light. Yeah, uh, there are probably like regional uh, Pokemon, like in uh, other games. I, love, I like re regional Pokemon, they're cool. Oh. Such a good art style. That's good art. That's good box art. January 28. Yes. That was the latest trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus. It looks Let's less like a, look a side project and more like the next uh, um, evolution of the franchise. Like, this is how the next Pokemon game in the franchise Legends will look. Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. Yes. Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui. Oh, I, I love this map. When it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon, Mount Coronet towers over the center of the land, 
with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. You'll set out on an adventure with the goal of completing the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. The bustling Jubilee Village will be the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people from various other regions. The Galaxy? Divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. Galaxy Team, that's weird. Professor Laventon's field of Doesn't study the, is the, the ecology theme. of Pokemon. He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Captain Silene is the leader of the Survey Corps. Though she may seem to treat you harshly, deep down she's your biggest supporter, and she watches over your progress with care. Commander Komodo oversees the entire Galaxy team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the unwavering trust of his team members. These characters have the more commander character Pokemon research, <laughs> than you to join the, team the entirety of the Pokemon of the Survey Corps. franchise sends silver and gold. <laughs> That's impressive. The duty of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, hmm. you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from I wonder, materials. maybe it's not really an open world game, but uh, there are several the locations, region, like in uh, Monster Hunter. Attacks from wild Pokemon. Take too much damage from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out doing your survey work. When your Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. Once you've completed a survey assignment, return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. Pokemon live all over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. You actually aim the Pokeball, that's that nice. not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, so you'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon and a battle will begin. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act mm. multiple times in a row, Ooh. depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. That's a big change. You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles, Strong Style and Agile Style. I like Using that. move in the Strong Style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the Strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move, while the Agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Use these different styles as the situation demands to gain the upper hand in battle. That's awesome. When you report the results of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. You can advance your research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain moves multiple times, and more. Seek out and meet lots of different Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. Now, we'd like to introduce some of the Pokémon living in the rich, natural environments that are spread out across the Hisui region. This Pokémon with distinctive antlers is oh. known as Weirdeer. It's an actually Weirdeer different Pokémon. The new Pokémon has managed to live in the harsh natural environment of the Hisui region. It has strong ties with the local people, and it has been treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. Garments made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. 
this Pokemon is Vasculegion. It can swim with great power. Vasculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Vasculin in their school hmm. that have perished during their journey So it's new evolution for familiar Pokemon. Possessing it, letting it swim on and on without tiring. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. Yeah, that's what I thought. This Pokemon with its great majestic wings is the Hisuian form of Braviary. It comes to Hisui in the winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate shockwaves. Cool. This Pokemon, which works with a partner, is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. Adorable. It is a very wary Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. Hisuian Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator, allowing it to stay active and lively even in this chilly land. The horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily, so Hisuian Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. The Pokemon Arceus holds the key to this story, but what connection does it have to your adventure? We hope you look forward to finding out on the day when you can finally meet the people and Pokemon of the Hisui region for this yourself. This is really exciting. It's really exciting stuff. I really like it. I like the changes to the battle system. Those were our latest updates. Jala first since the inception of the series. of Pokemon. Pre-orders for Pokemon <laughs> Legends Arceus. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl will become available on Nintendo eShop after this broadcast. We'd also like to announce that support for these titles is planned to come to Pokemon Heart, the cloud service okay. for Nintendo Switch and compatible mobile devices in 2022. Keep an eye on our upcoming announcements for further details. As for the ranked battles that so many of you continue to enjoy, these will take place as before in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We hope you all have fun participating in even more competitive play in the future. Okay. Those are all the latest updates we can share with you today. Hmm. We hope you're looking forward to all the exciting Pokemon adventures to come. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. That was very interesting. So yeah, the the diamond and pearl stuff not really interesting. <laughs> um, let me actually do this for a sec. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that was cool. I want to rewatch the. I want to rewatch the um, Arceus Legend stuff. That's actually interesting. See if I can find it. Okay, so this is the. Let's see. Yeah, this is the trailer, not the gameplay. Let's uh, check it out. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's the trailer we saw before. I really like the visual style. Um, it's obviously not as graphically rich as uh, you might have hoped, but it's, it looks really good. The city seems really cool. I wonder if you can like uh, if you can like develop it, or if you can like get uh, missions from the clothes maker. Get, get me some uh, weirder fur or something, and then you need to capture a weird uh, a weirder, or whatever its name was. And then you get to purchase new clothes and stuff like that. I wonder if you can do that. I wonder what these um, icons mean. Uh, this, the, the one with the app here, this kind of seems like uh, 
like the bag. This kind of seems like maybe uh, a Pokedex or something. And this is like your notebook. The bottom one is like your notebook. And here you can see you have uh, a poke Pokeballs, but you can also have other items. I'm assuming other Pokeballs, but I wonder if there are also like items for battle that you need to throw at your uh, Pokemon and stuff like that. I really like that you need to actually um, aim like a third person shooter, you need to aim the, the Pokeball, that's awesome. Uh, I'm definitely for like a, a bow, a bow that shoots Pokeballs or something of that sort. Maybe a slingshot? A slingshot would be good. Oh! So here, here we can see there are po you can uh, arrange the Pokemon you have in your party in this uh, right left uh, right bottom uh, area of the screen so you can choose if you want to throw a pokeball to capture or one of your uh, party members okay yeah and I, I i still wonder about the styles to different pokemon choose different styles or maybe certain attacks have certain styles that you can choose between it was unclear to me. Yeah, now, this is pretty cool. I like the idea of flying around. That's always awesome. Which actually might suggest it is an open world game. I hope it is. Um, but what I'm wondering is whether... Is this like a like in the new Pokemon games that you have like a, the ability to uh, summon these uh, service given Pokemon, or is this like or, or is this like the the prior games where a Pokemon in your party can perform this service for you? I wonder. I mean, the fact that they have like. Um, uh, a special chair for him and like the the stuff you hold on to with the bird this suggests to me that they didn't design this for every pokemon that can do this move so it's probably specific pokemon that you can summon that's that's my guess the environment seemed really um, varied we saw the snow environment we saw lakes we saw uh, forest like this one, that's awesome. Yeah, and this thing, Pokemons are an actual threat, that's pretty cool. Actually seeing them this big, I guess you could in Sword and Shield as well. Maybe these are especially large Pokemon? I'm not sure. They don't seem like it. Yeah, that's a different... That's a different type of ball, by the way. It's not a normal Pokeball. Maybe it's like a... You know, an Ultra... Not an Ultra Ball, but maybe it's a... The second Pokeball? Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. This was interesting. So here you hang out with your Pokemon, that's awesome. Here, it seems like you can use uh, Pokemon moves or certain Pokemon to farm from the environment. Maybe you can also use it to collect like iron and, iron and stuff like that, or, or other metals, or other rocks and stuff, crystals, whatever. Here he, he, it looks like he's farming uh, berries. That's interesting. Yeah, the, the movement the possibilities is pretty, they're pretty exciting. I mean, it's a dodge roll. You actually have a dodge roll in Pokemon, that's awesome. I mean, the, the mounts are also awesome. You can see that they can uh, swim faster, they can jump while you're swimming, they can jump while you're riding them, uh, they can glide up and down really fast. 
but this is awesome. You have a dodge roll in a Pokemon game. It's like a real time battle because you don't have a Pokemon out. That's really interesting. You actually need to be careful from Pokemon who are supposed to be scary. I mean, I'm pretty sure we haven't seen a Pokemon game where you can get wiped out by a Pokemon, by like a really strong Pokemon in the, in the wild. That's awesome. I mean, if you meet like an angry Gyarados in, in, some, in some lake, you should be scared. I mean, you're supposed to be scared, but you never are in Pokemon games. So that's interesting. That's, I like it. Not actual gameplay footage. Okay, so that's just like the art style they're going for. I really like the box art. I really, really like the box art. Um, I'm going to check if we have another, if we have like the gameplay presentation video. Doesn't seem like we do. No, so let's go actually back here. Yeah, let's... Let's look at the gameplay presentation again. That's interesting to me. Yeah, so it's here. It should be around here. Yeah, let's check it out. Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens. It's so weird. Bidoof is is such a lame Pokemon, but but it's it's somehow awesome. It's really awesome to see him like walk around. It's it's really cute. Uh, I noticed it in uh, Pokemon Snap as well that recently came out. I mean, I was never excited to see a Bidoof before, so that's that's kind of cool. Opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. So it seems like the Pokemon battles are still turn-based, but the overworld is action-oriented. This is a, u a, a really cool map. It's based around this uh, mountain, obviously. Um, this is the village they were talking about. There's obviously like a sea area where you can capture um, water Pokemon and stuff. There are a few islands here that are interesting. A desert kind of area. Over here, perhaps, and this like this is like a meadow with uh, shallow waters and stuff like that. This seems like a, it might be like semi-tropical or something like that. That's the vibes I'm getting. Um, the north seems dangerous with the uh, Gyarados over there, and this uh, snow area seems kind of huge. It's like a quarter of the map or something. It's really interesting. I wonder where the camps are located. Does every area have a camp, several camps? I mean, there's an obvious camp here in the in the map. There's a what seems to be like a, uh, another city, or maybe like uh, maybe it's a shrine or something like that. Really, I really like the style. This uh, ancient feudal uh, Japan J Japanese style. It's really good. Pokemon. Mount Coronet towers over the center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. You'll set out on an adventure with the goal of completing the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. The bustling Jubilee Village will be the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people from various other regions, with divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokémon. Professor Laventon's field of study is the ecology of Pokémon. He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Captain Silene is the leader of the Survey Corps. Though she may seem to treat you harshly, deep down she's your biggest supporter. Okay. Oversees the intent of his team members. 
team and has you work as Okay, okay, okay. The duty of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light survey on how they live. Outings. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true... She said observe and capture Pokemon. I wonder if there are actual mission missions where you have to follow Pokemon and maybe take notes of what they're doing and how they do stuff. Uh, so that's interesting. Maybe that's... Uh, I wonder if that's like a way to find... Uh, rare Pokemon, so you can follow some Pokemon to his lair where uh, 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 where you can find an actual rare Pokemon who lives with it or something like that. True purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work you'll visit various locations within the Hisui. Yeah, this. This seems like... Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, it will feel even worse in January, I'm assuming. Uh, this is interesting because this seems like this is only one area or is this the entire map? Yes, this is the entire map. Some of it is, is uh, some of the map is like hidden by clouds, but this is almost the entire map, I believe. And it's I'm, I'm unsure if you if this map is just for, uh, uh, you know, uh, looking at the quests of a certain area or maybe these er these areas that we're seeing on the map here, maybe this is like a mini map. This is maybe this is a map. This is a level that you need to teleport to, and then you can roam around it freely. But you cannot go out of its uh, of its borders. You know, like Monster Hunter. If you've seen Monster how, how Monster Hunter works, um, I'm hoping for a, an actual open. Uh, open map and it it is kind of hinted in the trailers you know you can see the the the, the, the horizon really far into the horizon so it can, it's kind of hinted it is an open world game i hope it is we region your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp at these camps you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials in the hisui hmm, region, heavy balls okay you'll be vulnerable to attack Wait, let me see this again. That's actually interesting. Preparing at a base camp. At these camps. Yeah, so this is the base camp. You have, um, this is like a shop, okay. You'll be able to prepare for your survey work by. And this is uh. Buying items or crafting new ones. This is the crafting materials. menu. So you use an apricot to create the pokeballs, and and black st uh, tumble stone will make it a heavy ball. A ball that is too heavy to fly high or far, but it is highly effective if you manage to eat an unsuspecting Pokemon. So that's that's also an awesome thing. We've we've seen the character like sneaks around in the bush, so maybe attacking or trying to capture a Pokemon while they're not aware you're there will give you a better chance of catching it. That's interesting. I like I like that. In the Hisui region, you'll find that you'll be vulnerable to attacks yeah, the dodge from roll again. Pokemon. Take too much ah. damage from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're I wonder what's the price order. for blacking out. When your Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. <laughs> I wonder if the... Survey assignment the, the base camp is really interesting, because I wonder, are there several base camps in an area? Uh, who are in a specific locations that you can join? Or is it like something you can place? Can you decide where the base camp is? That's interesting. It could be a very interesting uh, mechanism or just something that exists in the world. Return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. Uh, and yeah, the base camps made me think about uh, Monster Hunter because uh, every area in Monster Hunter has like a base camp. A base camp. And aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. Yeah, she's You'll sneaking around in the grass. That's cool. Pokemon react the same way Hello, Bidoof. You. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee. So you want Why doesn't it fly? <laughs> That's weird. Them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. I wonder how many Pokemon there will actually be in the game. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon and a battle will begin. Wait a minute, sorry? Let me check something out. Throw a Here in the background, you can see this purple stuff. 
I wonder if it's like more stuff you can collect from the environment. The battle is throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near Yeah, it is in the battle is in the same location. I'm not sure. I mean, the location looks a bit different. Maybe it's just a different uh, playthrough. But it is possible it's like some things are changed. Maybe it's the lighting that's different. Battle I'm unsure. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed. I really like this. I really like this in, in turn-based RPGs. Seeing the turn order and having different types of uh, enemies or, or team members uh, be able to strike more often if they're faster. I really, really like this. I, I hope it's, it's a change that will uh, advance to other Pokemon games because I really like this idea of... It makes the, the battles a lot more dy dynamic, uh, and it also makes sense because if you have, I don't know, a Crobat who has like a, a 200 level uh, uh, speed, and you're fighting some uh, Metapod with one speed, there's no reason the Metapod will ever attack. It, it, I mean, it doesn't make sense that it will be able to attack before uh, the Crobat attacks five, six, seven times. So I really like this idea. I really like this in games. Um, I wonder how it will affect changing Pokemon. So if th this time Lucario has two um, uh, two turns in a row, so if you use this turn to change Pokemon, I don't, I don't even know if you are able to change Pokemon in this game, but you can use uh, this turn to change the Pokemon, and then he will. The, the next Pokemon will have this turn and it won't be uh, attacked before he, he can act. That's that interesting. The moves that it uses. You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different Yeah, so... Oh, there are two styles. Different styles. Okay. Style and agile style. Oh, so we can choose for each attack, you can choose one of the two styles. Strong and agile. Using a move in the strong style will increase the move's power, but the okay. Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the strong... That's actually very cool, because you can use it once in the speed style, get an extra turn before the other Pokemon can even uh, react, and then use it in the Strong style. That's actually a good question, yeah. I wonder too. But I, I like the idea that... Um, yeah, for, for instance, an attack like Rage, that the more you use it, uh, the more damage you do. So you can use Rage once in the quick style, immediately get another turn and use it in the strong style, get the bonus from the strong style and from the attack itself. So that's it, it could open up uh, really interesting avenues for battle strategies. Strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move. While the Agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Use these different styles as the situation... Yo, maybe you want to heal. Upper hand in you battle. can use a healing uh, move to heal a few times in the fast style. When you report the results of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. Or heal and then attack. That's, that's really interesting. And fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon... This is a little bit... This is a little bit disappointing to me, because it's like a picture, uh, I'm assuming there's like a, some, some sort of camera in the actual game, but I was really happy, I would have been really happy to see here um, art that is like um, um, ancient scroll art, Japanese scroll art, you know, it would have been really awesome to have art of, the, of all the hundreds of Pokemon that will be in the game, I don't know how many. Uh, with this art style, it would have been nice. But uh, okay, that's... Moves multiple times this works. More. Seek out and meet lots of different Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. Now, we'd like to introduce some of the Pokemon living in the rich, natural environments that are spread out across the Hisui region. This Pokemon with distinctive antlers is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh natural environment of the Hisui region. Okay. It has strong ties with the local people. We've and seen stuff like this before, so that's nice. great care and respect nice. in this land since ancient times. Garments made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. So yeah, this, what you just said about clothing. 
Um, that's interesting because this could be just like a flavor text from the Pokedex, and this also could be like something that is that has a meaning in game. So like um, you can get missions to find the fur, so the cl clothes salesman can make new clothes, stuff like that. This Pokemon is Basculegion. It can swim with great power. Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. This Pokemon gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it swim on and on without tiring. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon with its great majestic wings is the Hisuian form of Braviary. It comes to Hisui in the winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate shockwaves. Braviary is the taxi this Pokemon, Pokemon from which works with a partner, Sword and Shield, I believe. Form of That's cute. It is a very wary Pokemon and That's appears good. to protect its territory. Hisui and Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator, allowing it to stay active and lively. Here, is those purple stuff again? Is it a Pokemon hiding in the in this grass or is it... Yeah, there's more here. Or is it just a flower, maybe? Even in this chilly land, possibly the just a flower. And it has nothing rock, to do but it breaks with easily, the actual game. So Hisui and Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. So Hisui and Growlithe are fire rock, perhaps. Story. That's cool. But what connection does it have to your adventure? We hope you look forward to finding out on the day when you can finally meet the people and Pokemon of the Hisui region for yourself. That's really exciting. I really like the, I really like the, the way this game looks. It's really interesting. I really hope that some some of the new stuff for the Those were some new stuff for the uh, battle system and stuff will actually go forward in the in the series. I really like those. I like the idea of having a little bit of an action-oriented gameplay in the, in the game that's also uh, really refreshing for pokemon games so yeah i really like this uh, presentation i won't go back and look at the pearl and diamond remix um, trailers because they sucked so much such weird games but never mind i wanna finish on a good note these games looks really really, really good uh, this game uh, legends Ar arceus looks really really interesting a lot of good ideas a lot of interesting ideas they're obviously still uh, a bit afraid they're not like uh, they're not uh, uh, going on and saying this is the future of, of the pokemon franchise this is how the games will look and play and feel uh, it's obviously still uh, an, an experiment they want to see how people react what people think and only then uh, they'll decide if they want to implement some of the features in the next Pokemon games. That's what I'm... Th that's the feeling I'm getting from the way they present these games. Uh, yeah, so that's... That's it for me. I'm... Uh, I'm good. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining me. It was an interesting presentation, at least the Legend Arceus part. Pearl and Diamond are weird because I saw them at the fir for the first time and I was disappointed and then time went on and I was like, oh, actually they're cute, I, I like to play a game in this style. And now I saw it again and it's like, missed opportunity. I mean, sure, the, uh, it's a chibi style, overworld, uh, uh, graphical style, fine. But use that to do some stuff that are like easy, make, add like dramatic lightning effects, you know, add all kinds of weird uh, details to the environment, uh, stuff like that. And they definitely do not want to do it. Or, or maybe the developers do want to do it, but it's beyond the limits of the budget and the scale that was uh, defined for them. Yeah, it just it doesn't look good. I mean, it's, it, it's very simple, but it's not simple in a very good way. It doesn't use its simplicity um for anything interesting i mean the battle system looks awesome the the graphical style in the battle system looks excellent i believe uh the rhythm uh, mini game awesome i'm i'm all for uh, a rhythm pokemon game why why the hell not but yeah but uh 
the world itself just looks so bland. That's a disappointment. And it's especially, I mean, it's bland when you compare it to the to the battle system and stuff like that, to the way the battle system looks. Um, but it looks even worse when you uh, when uh, immediately after it you see Legend Arceus, which looks absolutely amazing, absolutely incredible. I mean, yeah, you can see the limitations. You can see the allyzing uh, on the models. You can see that some of the textures aren't that good. Yeah, it's something we already know. It's not. Uh, it's not even that much of a of, of of an update on the originals. That's part of the problem. But yeah, when you look at at Legends Arceus, it's it's a huge difference. I mean, even though it's technically inferior to a lot of games that we see today, a lot of modern games. I mean, it's not as richly uh, it's not as rich as Genshin Impact, for example, which is a, a, a pretty good looking game. Um, but it's okay. I mean, sure, some of the textures are kind of blah. Some of the models are not very detailed. That all kind of um, disappears because there's so much thought that has gone into the art style. Um, uh, and I'm not even talking about the mechanics, which are very interesting, but the world that they present is very interesting. The way you move around the world is very interesting. So that makes the... Yeah, it's still in production. I mean, I mean, it's, it's most likely uh, pretty much done. I mean, it's it's uh, August now. It, it comes out in less, to, less than half a year. So, uh, uh, ideally, the game is done, content-wise. And now they're only working on... Um, uh, making it work smoother and better. They won't. They won't add a lot of content. I don't believe the uh, graphics will improve much. I'm pretty sure that's that. that what they showed is is what we'll get. Because usually games don't change graphically very dramatically in in five months. I, even less. Like it does uh, this month. Yeah. Five months, basically. Um, but uh, but it looks great. It really does. Uh, the style is good. The design of the new Pokemon is awesome. I really liked it. Um, the design of the Pokeballs is it's is refreshing. It's nice. It's really it's really fun to see. It's a really fun uh, spin on the Pokemon we know because we haven't really seen many historical Pokemon products. There was like a Game Boy Advance game, I believe, or maybe this game. This is like feudal Japan Pokemon, but it was a lot more uh, jokey than this, I believe. Like, I, I believe Pikachu was a samurai and stuff like that. It wasn't like the Pokemon games, but back then, it, it's it's very different. So, so yeah, that's awesome. I, I really liked what I've seen from uh, Legends Arceus. And uh, hopefully we'll see something more in the future before it, it will come out. I'm assuming we will. The very least, like a new, uh, a, a good, a nice new ch uh, chunky trailer. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. I'm gonna be going. I got stuff to do and stuff. Uh, thanks a lot for. Um, yeah, conquest. Uh, that feels. That sounds right. Pokemon conquest. Uh, let, let's see if I can find it actually. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was for the Nintendo DS. Pokemon Conquest for the Nintendo DS. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was nice. It was cool, but nothing uh, as exciting as as, as Arceus. Not that I can see. I mean, it had uh, it had like mini games and stuff. Um, yeah, but it was it wasn't as exciting at the time. It did it did have interesting ideas, but it wasn't like oh, this is where the the, the series might be going. So uh, yeah, that's exciting. I wonder if there are, there will be any Pokemon Conquest uh, um, you know, secrets in uh, in Arceus in Legend Arceus. That would be nice. Like a character will be mentioned or something like that.
yeah so anyway that's it for now that's it for today thanks for coming for coming by and hang, hanging out and watching the the show with me it was really nice and uh, yeah I'll be seeing you probably stream tomorrow maybe maybe not probably though and that's that bye bye chat bye Dvir. Uh, thanks for joining me. Bye.